Boxing is an inherently dangerous sport and it's difficult to make it safer without losing some of the great things that we love about it. The combat, the blows, the collisions, the exchanges. But there are advancements in technology and methods of looking after the fighters. And we've been talking to the fighters and our partners at Protect to look at how the future of boxing could be and what it might look like. Where do you see the advancements and evolution in boxing coming from to protect fighters? I think technology and understand that data that we get from it is, is massive in terms of helping the, the welfare of fighters. We've done quite a lot of work in boxing and by understanding what these fighters do in competition and in training really informs how they recover and also how you prepare for a fight. I think there are advances all the time, sports science like all sciences, whether it's medical science, chemical science, whatever, it's moving every single day and there are advances being made. You know, we're working with a company now, Protect, we're making great strides in, you know, athlete protection through the information and the data that they feed back from the gum shield that you wear. A huge step forward in the protection of fighters is the instrumented mouth guard. The Protect mouth guard we are using in boxing and it is giving us some amazing results which will help the ringside doctors diagnose any brain injury, any concussion and help treat that concussion after the fight. I like the idea of the gum shields um, we were talking about earlier. Um, I think they're a good idea. Your judging will be better because obviously sometimes it goes a bit screw with, doesn't it? So, and you're going to see where the punches are landing. Oh, listen, football has VAR, um, so we need VAR in boxing. I think there's been some controversial decisions um, for eternity. You know, I'm old enough to remember Mike Tyson, not just Tyson Fury, and I grew up with boxing and love it, but there's always been some controversial decisions. But technology has moved on so much now, it's almost unforgivable it's not in the boxing world. To be able to identify at the end of the fight, you know, uh, how, how hard you've, you've been hit and how many times, it gives information on where to take your training in future. And I think if there is technology that allows people to know how hard they've been hit, when they've been hit, then it's the VAR. So when there is a controversial decision, maybe we throw it out to, uh, to technology just to back that up, which sometimes it of course will, but, uh, but love it or hate it, we, I think we need to start really looking at technology to make the sport particularly clean and safe.